This CMS Sportsnet Game Summary is brought to you by Carol Winks. The key to the city was on the line as the game gets off to a rocky start for the Owls, as Jalen Bradford hands the ball off to Nate Mattingly, who fumbles the handoff. Defensive lineman number two for Winters Mill is there to recover the fumble. The Owls get the ball back as Jalen Bradford hands the ball off to number 10, Eric Stranko, who takes the ball all the way to the house. A 43-yard touchdown run for Stranko, and the Owls take the lead 7-0. The Falcons have the ball on their 20-yard line. The Falcons' offense drops back to pass, but Al's defensive end Jeffrey Price is there to force a fumble on the Falcons' quarterback, as number 58 Jack Conrad is there to recover the ball for the Owls. The Owls' offense has the ball on the one-yard line, as Jalen Bradford hands the ball off to number 22 Nate Mattingly, who rushes into the end zone to give the Owls another touchdown. 14-0 Westminster. The Falcons get some offense going of their own as they have the ball on the Owls' 10-yard line. Quarterback number 11 drops back to pass as he passes to number 14, Cam Vogel, who makes a leaping catch in the end zone. 14-7 Westminster. And with the key to the city on the line, anything goes. The Falcons go to kick the ball off, but they pull an onside kick. The Falcons catch the Owls off guard, and the Falcons' special teams recovers the ball. The Falcons quarterback drops back to pass as he throws a deep pass down the field, but the Westminster Owls number 14 Austin Bainbridge is there for the interception. Jalen Bradford drops back to pass and he finds number 14 Austin Bainbridge wide open. Austin Bainbridge takes the ball all the way to the house for 80 yards, touchdown Westminster. Winters Mill offense tries to get some momentum going as they hand the ball off for a run up the middle, but the running back fumbles the ball and the Owls recover the ball again. It's the third turnover for the Owls defense tonight. The Owls field goal unit is on the field. Evan Warren is lining up for a 39 yard field goal, but he kicks the ball and it goes right through the uprights. A 39 yard field goal for Evan Warren. As number 11 drops back to pass, but he passes it right to the Owls defensive back, number 21 for the interception. The Owls offense once again has the ball on the Falcons one yard line. Joey Long hands the ball off to Nate Mattingly, who rushes right up the middle for another Owls touchdown. The Owls get after the Falcons quarterback in the end zone, who fumbles the ball. He picks the ball up, tries to throw it, and the Owls intercept it again. Number four, Luke Jorgensen is the Owls quarterback as he hands the ball off to number 10, Eric Stranko, who runs up the middle and gives the Owls another touchdown. The Falcons finally force the Owls to have to punt the ball. Number 24 for the Falcons receives the punt at the 25 yard line. He runs to the outside of the field by the Falcons bench and breaks through the holes as he takes the ball all the way to the house for 75 yards. Falcons touchdown, 38-14 Westminster. Number four, Luke Jorgensen hands the ball off to number 34, Christian Heck, who runs the ball up the middle and gets the ball in the end zone for another Owls touchdown. And with that, the Westminster Owls defense played a key role in this lopsided crosstown victory tonight as the Westminster Owls win the key to the city, 45-14.